This is the 2024 Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. This is the top of the line when it comes to off-road capability, and there's a lot of changes for this year, starting with a new drive line, new 10-speed automatic transmission, an optional three-inch lift kit, and a nightshade edition. But there's changes to the inside as well. Let's start off with the outside. We'll go under the hood, and then we'll take it for a test drive. And in the end, we'll talk about the pros, the cons, the competitors, and the price point. The first thing you're gonna notice is the new available exterior color called Terra Burnt Orange, which I really like. It's really a cool color and a nice off-road color as well. There's an LED light bar mounted in the center of the grille, smoked headlights, and front and rear mud guards are also included. You'll also note that TRD Pro badges that are logoed around the vehicle, starting with right here on the hood. Very aggressive looking, very muscular, and I do like the new look of this vehicle. The wheels are an alloy 18-inch BBS wheel. It says Pro on it, BBS forged down here and these are 33-inch Falcon tires, which are designed for all season and especially off-road. The TRD Pro also has an electronic locking rear differential, a 1.1-inch front lift kit, Fox coilovers, and rear shocks. The TRD Pro front stabilizer bar and under the truck are aluminum TRD front skid plates, as well as the skid plate underneath the engine, the fuel tank, and the transfer case. The TRD Pro is also available with a nightshade edition, but it only comes with one bed, which is that 5.5 foot bed. But overall, this vehicle looks good. It's very off-road looking. It's designed to be easily cleaned. There is no running boards on our test vehicle. You can put them on optionally, as well as an optional three inch lift kit. Coming around to the back, you're gonna notice this cool geometric pattern that's also around the wheel arches. It makes it easy to clean. They're matte, and it also has some nice depth to it because they're different shapes. Also, Toyota across the back, TRD Pro here to let everyone know you're driving the very coolest of the trucks integrated bumper as well as a class 3 hitch and connections for your trailer and lights all of that is right here and easy to use led tail lights as well which are all new for this year dual trd pro exhaust pipes are right here and it's embossed with that trd logo Toyota doesn't forget to remind you you are driving a trd pro with the red stitching and that logo right there on the lower trim levels there's heated and ventilated seats that are optional on the TRD Pro. They come with it. Nice, comfortable seating. And there are adjustments, including lumbar. Seating material is really nice. And I like that cool camo kind of appearance to it. Kind of neat and fits in really perfectly. The passenger seat, much like the driver's seat, includes heated and ventilation as well as lumbar, which people really do appreciate. And of course, those Tundra TRD Pro floor mats are really nice and good for hosing them off after a day on the trail. Second row seating allows you to fold those headrests out of the way if you're not using them. Seats three across the back with two child safety latch points. Again, that camo material is here. It is heated optional. The second row has folding rear headrests. Three people can sit across the back. Two child safety seats. There is no heated option on our test vehicle. And there's additional storage. And again, that floor mat which is really nice. Behind the driver's side and passenger side are pockets, cup holders here at the back side of the center console, additional storage and vents are here, as well as additional charge ports so that everyone can keep their phones and devices charged. In the door, there is a minimal amount of storage, but good for cup holders and snacks that you might need. The center console folds down right here and there's spots for two more drinks and maybe a phone could be stored here. The 60-40 split seat folds, so you have access to a little bit of emergency storage in the back. And there's that JBL subwoofer hiding right here behind the passenger side rear seat. The rear glass is fixed, but it does have a defroster, so it doesn't have a center window like some of its competitors do. But again, that's just a personal choice. Safety is a top priority, as we all know, and the Toyota Tundra has a five-star overall safety rating from the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, which is the top rating. It includes standard Toyota Safety Sense 2.5 suite, which has driver assistance features standard on all 2024 Tundras. That includes automatic emergency braking, pedestrian detection, adaptive cruise control, lane keeping and lane centering, 
automatic high beams, traffic sign recognition, blind spot and cross traffic alert monitoring is all included, which is excellent. Now, as far as visibility, that around view camera is crystal clear and there's also an off-road camera on the TRD Pro. So you can see down in front of you, which is really great. So you don't have any hard rocks, but you do have skid plates. So that's excellent. Inside what's new is the available 14 inch touchscreen and the 12.3 inch digital gauge cluster that includes wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto and a 12 speaker JBL audio. There's also another 120 volt outlet for the rear seat occupants as well as USB-C chargers, standard chargers all the way around, and the standard interior features include wireless phone charger and illuminated center console storage bin. One of the nice features of this vehicle is that multi-terrain monitor, which is invaluable, like I said, for off-road. The shift knob and the steering wheel are trimmed in leather, and they also have that red stripe that say TRD. Really nice, really clean. Again, reminding you literally everywhere that it is a TRD Pro, which is pretty cool. The 2024 Toyota Tundra is available in a multitude of different trims, each boasting different specs and features from one another. Under the hood of the TRD Pro is two options. One is the iForce, which is a 3.5 liter aluminum block V6 with twin turbochargers, water-cooled intercooler with 389 horsepower and 479 pound-feet of torque. Our test vehicle is the iForce Max with a 3.5 liter aluminum block V6 hybrid with twin turbochargers, water-cooled intercoolers with an electric motor sandwiched between the flywheel and the torque converter to produce 437 horsepower and an impressive 583 pound-feet of torque. Both these engines run on 87 octane, although the higher test fuel is recommended. EPA fuel economy in our test vehicle is 19 miles to the gallon combined. Both motors are backed by a 10-speed automatic transmission and all-wheel drive is standard. Towing capacity, 12,000 pounds. This 437 horsepower vehicle sounds good. Listen to that exhaust. There is nothing like a combustion engine. This is the iForce Max. So yeah, it has the hybrid assist, which is great. So you're getting better fuel economy, maybe not the best fuel economy, but it does have towing capacity and off-road capability, which is what people that buy these trucks really want. Zero to 60 time is 5.7 seconds. This is not a race car. It's not designed for that. It's designed to be fully capable, whether you're on-road or off-road. We'll try a little bit of off-road here. There's not a lot of trails in this area, unfortunately. We have an old gypsum mine here. Sometimes I can get access to it when they leave the gates open, but you can see there's some serious potholes, this unpaved road, and the vehicle just absorbs it because that's what it's designed to do. It's designed for that off-roading, the light off-roading, the heavy off-roading. This vehicle is extremely capable, and people that buy these vehicles, they plan to use them for such, although they do look pretty cool on the street just driving it as a daily driver. Now, we've driven it around for a week, and I can tell you that I really like what this vehicle offers. The improvements are quite dramatic. Whether you're going through these mud holes or you're gonna go up this steep hill, I'm not worried at all because it's really slick here right now. We've had a lot of days of rain and cold, wet snow. No effort needed at all for the Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. It just crawls right up here and it loves it. There is also hill descent in this vehicle. We're not going to need it for this hill. It's not that steep, but I'm not at all worried. This vehicle is completely capable of rock crawling if needed, if that's what you want to do, or just having some off-road fun, which sounds like a blast. This vehicle just keeps on going, and if you get that three-inch lift, you'll be able to do some serious off-roading in this vehicle. I think I would order this in the Nightshade Edition, because I think it all blacked out would look really cool. Again, they do offer this new cool orange color, if that's something you prefer, or you can pick one of the other colors on the palette. Let's take the TRD Pro out on the regular roads, it really does do a good job of absorbing this, uh, these potholes, and there's a lot of them. Out on the regular roadway, this vehicle rides nicely, as nicely as any truck, and you get to hear that amazing exhaust sound from that TRD exhaust. Visibility is really nice. I mean, you're sitting in a high seating position, that tilt telescopic wheel, everything has a lot of functionality, and the fact that you can see this gigantic screen now makes things a lot better. 
You got this nice 14 inch screen, which is a huge improvement. And I like the fact that they got rid of their previous generation technology, which I personally didn't like, but I do love the wireless Apple CarPlay Android Auto wireless charging as well as Wi-Fi connectivity. This vehicle could be used as a daily driver without a problem. And you've got a big bed, so you can put some items in it if you need to go someplace like Costco, because we all have to come back with stuff and your friends are gonna ask you to help move them as well. The brakes are nicely balanced and fit well with this iForce Max engine. And the handling is really nice. It's not too trucky where you can't drive it around daily. And it's also not so soft that you know it's not capable off-road. It has the ability to do both. The 5.5 foot bed has the Tundra logo embossed right here. And it also has bed protection, which is nice as well as tie downs and lighting and additionally there is an ac 120 volt charge port here in case you want to tailgate or you're going to use this on the road to chip wood or whatever it is you might need the trd pro has a payload of 1640 pounds with this short bed go with the longer bed like on an sr5 and you're at 1940 pounds there is also a spare tire it is up underneath which is pretty standard for a lot of trucks and don't forget that charging port in the bed is very helpful if you're out on the trail the 2024 toyota tundra trd pro starts at seventy two thousand one hundred and twenty dollars our test vehicle came in just a little bit over seventy four thousand dollars there was no additional options because this already has the iforce max engine which means you get all of the goodies, which is really good because their competitors are the Ford F-150, the Silverado, the GMC, the Ram 1500, and of course the Nissan Titan XD. So there's a lot of competitors in this class, but they've done such a great job with the Toyota Tundra and all the improvements for this year. A lot of people are looking at this truck as an option and it's built here in the USA. There's a lot of pros to this vehicle. I like the performance and all the technology upgrades, especially that new screen in the center. Really appreciate that. On the negative side, the only thing I can think of negative is you can only get one length bed. And some people want the longer bed, but if you're really using this as an off-road vehicle, the shorter bed's probably better, but there's a lot of great options and accessories you can get added on from the dealer and add that into your lease, which is what a lot of people want to do. Now, I'm sure you have additional questions about the TRD Pro. You can put it down in the comments below and we'll start that conversation. If you own this truck and you love it, we want to hear from you because we want to hear what you think so you can share it with those people that are thinking about buying a Toyota Tundra TRD Pro. And don't forget, if you don't want the Pro, you can look at the other vehicles. We've reviewed those. You can check that out on our channel. If you get value from this video, make sure to like and subscribe for more videos like this one. If you'd like to support our channel, you can buy me a cup of coffee. The link for that is in the description down below as well as for the website, the podcast, the book, and all our social media and our other channel, Car Smarts, because knowledge is power. We give you information you're not going to get anywhere else. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll look forward to seeing you next time.